Hey guys, it is Briar Trout here and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. So I just got back home from Briar Fest last night and I'm just having the time to unpack all the horses. I had to unpack my show string first, put them all on the shelves. And now all of my new ponies are out and I'm ready to show you them all. Um, sorry if I sound a little sick. Turns out that I have a touch of walking pneumonia which I just found out today. I've had a really bad cough for the past two weeks. If you guys saw me at Briarfest, you probably heard it. Um, but yeah, that happened. So that's why I'm sounding a little funny right now. And if there's a pause, it's probably because I'm coughing. Um, but I'm going to show you guys what I got at Briarfest this year. Um, honestly, one of my favorite years horses-wise, and I think this is like the least amount of horses I've ever gotten. But I don't know, I just, I definitely, I was only buying what I really loved, and I'm just, I'm very, very happy with my haul. I mean, I love my haul every single year, because I do get what I love, and yeah, I'm just really happy. Also, just have to say this every year, because there's always going to be somebody commenting this. I saved up my money, I've been saving up for quite a while, um, I have a job, I work, I saved up for this briar fest, so yeah, um... Let's just get that out of the way. I'm sure you all know by now. All right, no more talking. Let's just get into it. So I got this sweatshirt at the Kentucky Horse Park. I love my old Kentucky Horse Park, Horse Park sweatshirt. And then I also have a few shirts from there, which I just always love. And I, it's like not a hoodie. It's just like a normal sweatshirt. But yeah, I will be wearing this a lot because when I'm going to college, it is cold. So that will be put to good use. So the next thing I got was this free poster um, that Briar was handing out and it's for their 30th anniversary so it's basically all the like molds with their years behind it in a poster. Not sure where I'm going to put it but it was free and it actually looks kind of cool so I'm going to try and find a place for that. Also a great just memory piece especially since I was able to be there for their 30th anniversary. Then I got one sticker. I wish I got more though. Oh my god, the sticker game was so good this year. Yeah, this is from Long's Custom Studio. She also gave me a pin. And I got quite a few pins this year. Oh, this is gonna fall. Um, I got a California Chrome one for just a dollar just because I wanted a new pin for my little pin collection I got going, which is pretty big right now. Then the Salute to Horses one that you pick up. Um, I didn't get a magnet this year. I wish I grabbed one. I forgot to. This pin from Dark Oat Studios, which Pine Needle Studios um, pin, which I got one last year, so now I have two. And then at the social media meet, um, Valentina gave me a halter, so I had to figure out which pony to put that on. So thank you very much for that. So then here's just my um, signing horse. I already own this horse, but just with all the signatures on it. Thank you guys so much for signing him. He's filled up with signatures. I wish I spray painted him silver or something just so the colors would come up better, but whatever. We live with what we got. All right, then I have four Olivers. Not sure what I'm doing with them all yet. I know I'm keeping two of them. I have to still look through and decide which one I like the best. Uh, and then I'm going to keep one in box and then I will probably give one to my little cousin and then sell one. So if you are interested in an Oliver, let me know. Then I guess we'll just go right to my store specials that I got. Um, I still have yet to take them out of the box. That is my next thing once I'm done filming this. But I got Hall Hale. I literally couldn't say the name the whole weekend. My friend Jordan had to keep on correcting me. But yeah, um, she was the last one on Saturday. Like, there were people coming up to me like, uh, like, where, what, where is she, where is she? Because, like, I literally grabbed the last one. Like, I could not put her down or she would get snatched right from me. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to look her over. She only, I've seen, like, one minor flaw on her from the outside. But I didn't have much of an option, but I knew I wanted to come home with her. And then Rika was kind of an impulse buy. Um, I'm not sure why I got him. Because uh, now I'm just, like... Uh, I don't know where I'm going to put him on my shelves, but I did kind of want him, and, like, I've always wanted a silver, and he was, like, pretty obtainable, like, because there were literally, he was probably the least sold out of, like, not many people bought him, so I literally sat there looking through all of them, and this was the best one I could find. Still some minor flaws, but overall very nice, and I do 
like my flea bitten grays as you know i own one okay now i'm just gonna go to my special runs so this isn't really an order of how i got them this is just kind of a random order but first i got a glossy diana with the long mane variation um i think the long mane and braided mane were split in half and then there was the pinto one which obviously did not get i wish um but she is super pretty. I'm super happy. I like the long mane version better than the braided, so I was just happy to get that. Then I got a glossy quill, which, oh my god, I love this horse in gloss. I've always just, if you could gloss a horse, like, get a gloss. Like, I just am that type of person. But she, or he, is super nice. Um, all of his markings are pretty, like, nice, and I'm very, very happy with how he turned out. Um, super happy that they did a split of gloss and matte for this run because, oh my god, I love him in gloss. So yeah, he actually will probably join my show string just because I don't really have any Appaloosas and honestly, like, I don't know. I just love glossy bays. I just think it looks so, so nice. Alright, then I got myself a rocket. Of course, he was the most popular one of this year, but yikes. <laughs> he has some interesting dapples. Also... I don't know if you'll even be able to see it. I'm going to go put him in the sunlight if there is any left um, to show you. But his back is like exceptionally white. It's very strange. I was comparing him to Infinity Briar's rocket actually. We were both unboxing at the same time or unwrapping. And yeah, it was just strange. But he has very odd dapples. But he's still very cute. I really like him. He's such like a thoroughbred mold that I just like, you gotta love him. But the Pinto, I wasn't really a fan of the Pinto variation of him, even though I know, like, that's very desirable. Just because he's already, like, such a light color, I feel like any lighter would just would not look nicer. <laughs> One horse that I forgot now that I'm looking at my shelves. I picked up this guy in an antique shop on my way back in Pennsylvania. Um, he was $10. He's the original Adios. And I'm thinking for a video that I'm going to try and fix him up. So if you guys want to see that, let me know. Alright, now on to my surprise horses. Um, this actually, this wasn't the first surprise I got, the other one was, but I'll show you that guy in a second. Um, but I actually got the Pinto variation first, which I traded for this guy just because I honestly didn't like the Pinto variation or paint variation. Um, but now I've learned that this is the most common and the paint is probably the rarest. But honestly, whatever, I do like this horse and I was planning on keeping him anyway just for my show string. He's fairly nice. His dapples, I feel like all the dapples were a little wacky this year, kind of, but whatever. Um, he's really, really nice. I love his eyes. Wow, they're so detailed. And he's just such, like, a nice, simple dapple gray. So then, oh my god, I would never believe it, but I pulled a glossy. Wow. Um, you guys will see him in my vlog. Oh yeah, by the way, I vlogged this year. I'm going to be splitting them up. But his shine, wow, I want to try and... Just, he literally, like, shines with gold. You're going to see it in my vlog really nice because he's in natural sunlight. But, wow, I love this horse. He's my favorite variation in gloss by far. So I'm very, very happy that I was able to get a glossy this year. First time I've ever pulled a glossy at Briarfest. I just couldn't believe it. I was getting so lucky with who I pulled this year. So, to make my luck even more, I got a gray pepper. I don't know how. Wow, I am, like, so in love. <laughs> um, I don't even know what to say. Like, I was not expecting it, but wow, this horse is gorgeous and gray, and I cannot wait for them to release the numbers on her. I'm still unsure with what I'm going to do once I know the numbers. But for right now, she will be very, looking very nice on my shelves and is such, like, a once-in-a-lifetime thing for me because I really don't think I will ever own a horse as rare as her again. Um, but yeah, wow, like, I am so, so in love. Like, nothing is better than that. Wow, the sunlight's really, like, killing her right now. But wow. <laughs> um, <coughs> sorry, coughing again. But yeah, um, currently my most, like, picture on Instagram is of her when I pulled her. But yeah, I could not believe it. Everybody wanted to look at her. And wow, she's just, I cannot believe that I could say that I own this horse. Okay, now on to some Clarion or pickups. Um, so this guy was a pickup from my friend EverQuest Studios, who I basically hung out the whole time with at Briarfest. And I got her Glossy Bow Long Lane Variation. 
if you can't tell, I really like long mane variations of things, and, um, or loose mane, and then, um, gloss. So yeah, um, but he's super pretty, I'm super excited to have him. Once I saw him from the Collectors Club, I knew I really, really wanted him, and she told me that if she got the long mane variation, she would sell him for me at cost, so now he's mine. Um, but yeah, he is just such a nice little horse, and I can't wait to put him on my shelves. So next, I got Champagne Toast, um... He was only $45 in the room, so, and I've always wanted him, but, like, never wanted to pay the money for him, I guess, but I've always seen him for such good prices, so I don't know what took me so long to get him, but yeah, he is mine now. Wow, he's blue, he's a blue eye and a brown eye. I, I did not notice that. Wow. Um, so he was a special run from 2014, actually, um, and yeah, he was just, like, ugh, I have such a soft spot for the Adios mold, if you can't tell, um, and yeah, I don't know. He's really, really nice though. He does have a crooked dorsal stripe, but like literally everybody, everyone does. And I just had to grab him with that price. He was only 45 and I saw like three others in another room for 100 So I was like, you know, I think I got a good deal. I also got this guy in the same room for 25 and I actually ended up combining both of them for $65. So I saved five bucks. But yeah, he is super just cute. I love the bouncer molds, and he was just a nice little pony I thought that I could add to my collection. Also, I really don't have a huge pony show string, so I think that he would be a nice little addition. Okay, so I didn't think I'd be coming home with the resin this year, but I found this girl, and I knew that if I did not get her, I would certainly regret it. So um, I did. Um, She is painted by... Lilac Rose Studios, who I bought her directly from, and oh my god, I am in love. How can you not just like, he's so, or she, she is so, so cute. She's on a lily resin, I believe is the name. She is just so freaking cute. I'm so happy that I was able to get her. And she's only priced at 150 so I really didn't think that was that bad, especially for a painted resin, because part of me wants to just get an unpainted resin. But I knew that I would absolutely never get it painted. So I was very happy to find this girl and she's absolutely adorable. And then the last girl in my haul was also a pickup. She is a custom by Carousel Creek Studios. So I actually ended up trading her for my Versailles, which I talked about in a video before. Basically, she ended up redoing him and then I got him again. So yeah, uh, he's really cute. Or she. She's very cute. Uh, she did come with one flaw on her forelock, which I don't know if it'll pick it up. But, um, it's just black paint, so I can easily fix it, so I didn't think it was a big deal. But yeah, she's super, super nice, and I cannot wait to get them on the shelves, just like with all these ponies. So, yeah, that is my haul this year. Probably one of the smallest. I didn't even get any stable mates. Wow, I'm pretty disappointed in myself. Usually I at least grab one. But, yeah, that is it. Um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this haul as much as I did. I love all the ponies that I got, and I actually came home with some money this year, so that's always nice. So I will be having two vlogs come out, one like park one and then another um, Clarion one or outside of the park one. I'm also going to be filming my placings video for the open show very soon, which I had so much fun at. Oh my god, I sound so bad. <laughs> but um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at x 6 And most importantly, stay fabulous. Bye!